Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the another concept that is nothing but MongoDB cursor. So what is this MongoDB cursor? Normally in the MongoDB, when we are trying to use the find method, so why we will use this find method? Normally if you try to see here, db.products.find. So this is the method we will be using, right? So, so. Yeah, I didn't select the DB, I think. Okay, so use Leela underscore e-commerce. Okay, now DB dot products dot find. So normally we use this one find thing. So let's we can use this pretty also. Normally, why we use this one? So in order we used to we use this find method to find the documents present in the given collection. So that is the thing. Now you need to understand that whenever we are using this find method, this find method doesn't actually gives you the documents. Actually what it will try to do is this find method always will, retry, will return you a pointer which points to the document of the collection. So this find method instead of returning the documents, it will return a pointer which points to the documents of the collection. Why? Because so whenever you use this find method without any filter, we are having millions of documents. So these millions of documents, if you try to show it in your uh, output or anything, so any driver using any drivers and you want to show it in any programming language. So this one will become performance issue Why? because millions of documents we don't want at a time. So because of that reason, the find method always returns a pointer and this pointer will point to the documents of this collection. And this pointer is known as a cursor. In MongoDB terminology, this point, this pointer is called as a cursor or in other words what i can say is cursor is nothing but a pointer <coughs> mongodb cursor is nothing but a pointer using this pointer we can access the document normally whenever you are trying to use this find method by default this cursor iterates the automatically <coughs> and it will show you the documents so if you are using something like without assigning this one into any variable or anything so this cursor iterates automatically and it will show you all the output and if you want you can also iterate the cursor manually okay if you want you can also iterate the cursor manually so normally we have seen how to how we can use this one right db.products.find.pretty now normally you need to understand that whenever this db.products.find.pretty is not assigned to any variable so here this is not assigned to any variable any where keyword or anything if it is not a set means then the mongo shell the shell what we are right now using automatically iterates the cursor up to the 20 documents i will try to show you the 20 documents how it will try to show how it will try to iterate and afterwards it will ask you that it for more if you want to uh, see more records press i uh, type it 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 will ask you it will ask so if you type it it means then it will show another records so like this so now I will try to show you here. Let's try to take one categories thing. So here I have already created this one. So let's copy this one all. And here what I will try to do is db dot I am creating a categories dot find. And here I will so not insert insert many. I can use this insert many. And what I will try to do is here. I will try to insert these all the categories at a time 10 categories i am trying to insert so let's try to insert it automatically these all categories has been insert so now what i want to do is again i will try to insert it so here again i will try to insert another time 12 categories so total i have insert around 24 category uh, 24 categories or something like that if i want to check db dot categories dot fine so if i try, try to check it here if you try to see here it will show only the top 20 categories and it is telling that type it for more it is telling that type it for more so if i click it it will show remaining four categories again so that means total it is having 24 categories out of these 24 categories whenever you are trying to use this find mongodb find method it will show only the top 20 the cursor will show only the top 20 it, uh, it automatically iterates only the top 20 and it will tell that to type it for more records so because of that reason so another four records when you type it so it got the more records now okay fine so without assigning the variable the cursor is returning uh, iterating automatically and it is doing 
so for example let's say that ls if you assign where categories we can also do it like this it's not a problem db dot categories dot find so we can use it like this now if i type if i want to type here so here i am able to get all the things so now what i am trying to do here i am trying to store it one variable and in this variable again i am trying to print all the, all those things so here so now its cursor has been finished so we have it has completed iterating the cursor now what i want to do is here we can also use we can also manually iterate the cursor so how we can iterate the cursor is for example let's say so i will try to use the same this one so here i can use a while loop okay so here i can use this while loop and here i can write something like categories dot has next so dot cursor has a methods has next okay so so many methods are available for this cursor so if it is having has next then i can print okay so to json so we have a method to json and i can do categories dot next okay so it will the cursor also will move to the next document and it will threatening you the document so now if i try to print this one see the same thing has happened this time we are able to print all the 24 documents instead of having it it we are able to print all the 24 documents at a time what it is happening here so it is looping over the while loop and it is checking that whether we have a next next document or not if, we, if it is having a next document then it is going to print the next document uh, so it is moving to the next the cursor is moving to the next one next document and it is printing the document so like this it will be going on printing the documents until it has reached the end of the document so like this we can <coughs> use this has next and next to print the documents using the cursor not only with the use next uh, has next we can also use for each loop also we can also loop over the for each for example let's say that so that cursor has been completed so why because this that cursor the previous cursor now if i try to print categories so we are not able to get those all things okay so let's try to see that for example so i have clicked on i have put in categories okay so now we got it so i will try to use the same thing okay now if i try to print i will get only the four why because the categories pointer has moved 20 record 20 documents after after 20 documents has moved after the 20 documents now if i try to loop over this one i will get only the four records why because this pointer is at the category ninth record so that is the thing you want to understand now again the pointer what i want to do is we can also loop over we can also use the for each loop to loop over the cursor for example let's say that db dot categories dot find dot for each we can also use for each command and here you can use print json okay so normally what it will try to do is you will get each category okay so you will get the each category and you can print json and you can use the category like this you can use it so now if i try to print it so again the same thing happens so we can loop over the categories and if you and also what you can do is you can also what you can do is you can also for example let's say that so we have looped over this one right so now if you want to convert these all documents to an array we can also do it that one so for example let's say that we are having again these categories now in this categories we are having so if i try to print categories dot to array now see what will happen so immediately all the values are printed without having the it so two array so when i am using this two array without using the cursor pointer and all the things it and all the things all the uh, documents which are available it will be converted to an array so we can also use the two array and another one if you want to know the total count of these categories available in this one means we can use db dot categories dot we can use something like count okay so db dot categories dot find dot count i can use this count now if i try to press enter so there are total 24 records are there this is how we can we can yeah, this is this is what about the cursor so now you need to understand that cursor is nothing but a pointer instead of printing all the documents at a time instead of printing all the documents at a time the pointer it will point to the documents whenever you are looping over or whenever you are playing instead of returning all the documents it will return top 20 documents and if you want to loop over that cursor means you can loop over the cursor using the has next and next method and also you can use this for each method 
so there are also so many methods are available for this cursor so we will discuss afterwards so going on we'll discuss but you need to understand about the cursor thing so this is one of the concept cursor is nothing but a coin point itself so you have so many cursor batch size close cursor is closed like this comment explain for each loop has next hint is exhausted it count so like this we can use so many things so this is all about this cursor and the pointer hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you